So I can watch it on three tablets at once, but I guess without signing into a cable provider, I can't watch it on an Xbox. That's really lame. All right, so today's video is about a new streaming service. After all these years, the NFL has finally followed in line and created NFL Plus. There's also an NFL Plus Premiere. NFL Plus is $5 a month or like $40 a year. NFL Plus Premiere is $10 a month or $80 a year. So we're gonna go through the signup process and I'm gonna try my best to hopefully help you understand exactly what you're paying for here because I would personally think you would pay this five to ten dollars a month and you could access every single game you want to see but that's that's not really the case so click like click subscribe indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch and now let's get on a screen record and uh take a look at their website and sign up all right so here we are on the nfl plus website it is of course just nfl.com plus so nfl your game on the go they do give you a free seven day trial currently so i mean i'm gonna try to get that of course now here it tells you a little bit of what you'll get with nfl plus so you'll get the live games at your fingertips from kickoff to super bowl watch live local in prime time games on your phone and tablet keyword watch live local in prime time games we'll get to more of that in a moment full and condensed game replays are on the slightly higher level that's 9.99 a month or 80 dollars per year and then live game audio is across both platforms you can listen to any games audio on your mobile device keywords here so here's your two options both of them give you a free seven-day trial that you can cancel anytime for $4.99 a month or $29 a year you can watch live games on your mobile devices watch live NFL Network on on your phone and listen to live audio of every game so you're not able to watch every single game this doesn't mean that you pay them five dollars per month and if you live in New York or if you live in California and you're wanting to see the New York Giants well, unless they're playing locally for you in California, which most likely they will not be, you would not be able to watch that game. But you could listen to the game. Why can't you? And so then there's another option for $9.99 a month or $80 per year where you get everything from the regular NFL Plus. Plus you get ad-free game replays, which if you notice over here on the $4.99 a month, all it says is watch live games on your mobile devices, only live. So you can't go back and watch them once they're gone. You got to pay the $10 a month to be able to do that. Probably causing a lot of confusion is that there's live out of market preseason games. Those are of course only the preseason games. So most people don't really care about this. Watch football wherever you want. See, so NFL Plus gives you the freedom to watch local and primetime regular season and post games. So watch live, local, and primetime regular season and postseason games on your phone or tablet. Not every single game they offer. Which, I don't really understand that. I don't know why. It must be some kind of cable regulations or something. But they need to just, you should be able to pay like $15 a month and access every single game no matter where you're at. Stay up to date, yada yada. Now they have a few questions down here. What games are available to watch? live with NFL Plus. And as you can see, NFL Plus provides access to live regular season and postseason games that are available in your local TV market from kickoff to Super Bowl. Regular season and postseason games are generally available on your phone or tablet. NFL Plus also includes out-of-market preseason games as well as live audio from every game of the season. So that's what the guy in California would want if he's the Giants fan and he's moved to California. And then of course, uh, how can you watch game replays? Well, you gotta have the higher subscription and then you can watch the replays. And yeah, it does include like the Pro Bowl and all that kind of stuff, but that would also be locally on your TV as well. That's why those are included. So we're gonna get in the game. Um, I'm gonna go through this sign up process. I'm gonna go with premium, start a seven day trial. Um, we're just gonna do $9.99 a month. Looks like we need an NFL account, so I'm just gonna sign in with my Google account. All right, so now I'm uh, signed in here. Got my manage subscriptions. So I'm gonna get the uh, NFL Plus. We want the $9.99 a month. It looks like it is gonna want my credit card, of course. Trial period, yep. So I'm gonna throw in my credit card. As you can see, it's $0 right now but it won't be charged for seven days. All right, your purchase has been successfully completed. So we'll click continue. And so now we're in there, Thursday kickoff, 8.20 p.m. So let's explore a little bit. Since I have plus, I can select on games. And there's a whole list of games from week one. 
So let's go to preseason week three. So yeah, like if I you know wanted to, I could go back and uh, you know I could rewatch the Jaguars Atlanta game that I didn't see. Now uh, picture quality definitely doesn't look too bad so far. Let's go over to shows. So here's some of the shows you can access. It's like a whole list of NFL shows. Okay. So we're gonna get the apps installed on my phone as well as my tablet, as well as my Xbox, my Android TV, and uh, we're gonna try to stream as many streams as we can because, because according to the FAQ, there's no limit to the amount of streams you can watch with one NFL account. So I'm gonna see if I can watch the same game on like six different devices. Let's, let's see what happens. So just so you're aware, this is on an Android TV and you don't actually download an app called NFL Plus. You download the NFL app, which uh, fans can access NFL Plus content within the NFL app, NFL Plus subscription required. So we'll uh, go ahead and install this on our Android TV that's here in our bedroom. And it's the same way on Xbox. You just download the NFL app and then when you log into your account, you'll be able to access your NFL Plus subscription. And so like you can see here, you can just sign in and you're able to scan the QR code and log into your account. And pretty straightforward, once you scan the QR code, you sign into your NFL Plus account and your TV will say you signed in successfully and now you're ready to rock and roll. Remote here, so we've got a little bit of information here, the upcoming games and everything. And if you go up top here is where you can select NFL Plus, at which point You've got your shows, the hard knocks, documentaries, the draft, scouting combine, other films, total access. We go over here to games, this shows you a list of uh, the upcoming games, which networks are on, etc. Because, like I said, you can't watch them all in here. And the home screen is where you would find, like, here's tonight's game, Thursday, 9 8 at 8 20 p.m. Uh, we'll be able to come here and select it. These are also showing as upcoming, so it looks like all these games would be available to me on the 11th. But also, I have all these TV networks, so, you know, kind of paying for this would be pointless for me. Let's go take a look at it on the Android TV now that that app's installed. So, the app is installed. We can now open this app, and we should get that same screen to uh, log in. Of course, probably with a pop-up first that's an advertisement telling you, to, telling you to get NFL Plus. So, for here, just click Skip for now and then that brings you to this screen where you can select sign in. Then you get your QR code and you sign in to your account. All right, this one's been activated successfully. Sure, there we go, signed in successfully. And so the same exact layout and screen as you saw on the Xbox. So that's good to see. So, you know, right here is your game tonight. And then, you know, the same thing when you go up top, games, teams, and NFL Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and continue installing this. I'm gonna get it installed on my Pixel. We're gonna put it on my wife's phone and my iPad here and try to stream tonight's game on all the devices simultaneously. All right, so NFL Plus running on the Xbox. Now it has that game still is upcoming, 8.20 p.m., which it is 8.20 p.m. So don't know why I can't select it yet. It's still showing as upcoming, so I can't even click it. And when I go to click on these... What's hell in the middle? Juwan Bentley. Okay, so that's guy, actually guy working. Might... I guess because the game is not live yet, I can't click on it. Season 103 of the NFL is underway. All right, so this is on YouTube TV. We just saw the kickoff. So let's go over to NFL. And let's see if we can watch the game on NFL now. Or on NFL Plus. So, yeah. So now it shows now and upcoming. So live. Sign, I don't, why, why do I gotta sign in with my cable provider? I have NFL Plus. What do you mean? <laughs> That's the same thing the other one told me. So what is the purpose of NFL Plus? Like, if you still gotta have a cable subscription, I don't get it. You're supposed to be able to li watch live local games or whatever. Maybe it's only on the phone. Maybe it's because I'm on the TV. Let's pull out your phone. All right, so yeah, on the phone, it's just playing. It doesn't want to sign in. So it's just because it's on the Xbox. That's crazy. So, will it work? So it should work on my tablet. And so you see, we got the game playing here, but on NFL Plus on my Xbox, when I go down here to click on the game, I guess because I'm on an Xbox, it wants me to sign in with my cable provider. So even on the iPad, it's working great. Got the game here. Are they actual, are they 
How far behind are they? There's a little bit of lag there. Let's uh, let's try my other phone. And so we've got NFL Plus here, and if I click on this, it tells me now playing. So yeah, I can I can watch it on. So I can watch it on three tablets at once, but I guess without signing into a cable provider, I can't watch it on an Xbox. That's really lame because it works the same way on Android TV. So this is even more of a waste of money than I originally realized. So let me show the Android TV one more time just to verify that basically on a big screen TV, which is what most people I think are gonna wanna watch this on, the fact that it's completely limited to mobile devices is just, absolutely stupid but you can actually see here there's a little icon so when i select it it then wants me to sign in with my cable provider do not waste your five or ten dollars a month on this it's a waste of money so a little caveat here that somehow i just didn't recognize that you know when it said mobile phones and on the go it literally basically meant that's really what this service is used for considering they had a roku app and an apple tv app and a google tv app and an xbox app i naturally thought that if you paid for this and used one of those apps you could just sign in and you know use the service the same way but because that's on a big screen tv they uh they don't allow that which just makes this pointless so that is absolutely not how I thought this software worked. Now, I originally thought I'd be able to watch this on my Xbox, watch this on my Android TV, because they're all listed as compatible devices. But apparently to watch on the TVs, you have to have an active cable subscription, which means if you wanted to use this just to pay five or $10 a month and watch all the NFL that you would normally be able to watch on cable, you can't do that unless you want to watch it on your phone. I mean, you can see here the, uh, the phones are doing the phone, the tablet, you know, now you could cast it to your TV, I believe. Let me actually, let me see that. Let me see. And so yeah, to try to cast, there's not even, you don't even have a casting button. You got closed caption, mute and full screen. So, you can't just cast it to your TV. This is such a waste. But just remember that basically what you're paying for is to watch your local games on your phone, it seems. It's, you know, you're not able to watch any game from anywhere. Now you are able to listen to any game from anywhere. So if that's your thing, hey, this might be really good for you. But I think for about 95% of us, this is just, I mean, I don't even know why NFL made this. It's absolutely terrible in my opinion. So I think that'll do it for this one. You know, my, my advice is don't waste your money on the NFL network because I mean, you gotta pay for cable either way apparently, unless you just love watching from your phone and like having a six inch screen to watch your football games on. But most of us want, you know, 65, 75, somewhere in there. So click like, click subscribe, indulge in your life at indulgeclothing.com for the merch. And we'll see you in the next one. Deuces.